main stage. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh, that was. Oh, I, I really like doing that. I really like uh, performing with you. Thank you so much for that. You're just, you're just a hoot and a half. No problem. No all problem right. at all. So let me ask something for you. You got anything exciting hmm. planned you want to tell our viewers here uh, in the future? Or you want to just keep that on the, the low right uh, now? Let's keep that a surprise for now. All I do right. have some things planned, of course. Um, and then I have the stream tomorrow, of course, where I'm going to try to play Niku Niku. Um, oh, wait, I've got what game is that? Could, could you replace that? Could you repeat Piku. that? What? Um, Piku Niku is... I don't know too much about it. I'm pretty sure it's a platformer puzzle game, 2D, um, about capitalism somehow. Mm. <laughs> and I'm not too sure how. So oh. I'm, I'm interested to uh, find out just what that game has entailed. And I think it's not too long. I'm not going to finish it in one day. But two, 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 two streams should be uh, should be sufficient, I think. But uh, yeah, it's just some... Um, Platformer, puzzle game, cute art, capitalism. What more could you ask for? Yeah, there you go. What more could you ask for? Oh, by the way, thanks for the applause, um, Home the Ocean. Yeah, I, I think the, uh, that individual enjoyed the core, the performance core. Thank goodness. <laughs> good, good job, Seth. I, I credit it to you. Oh, thank you. No, no, you're you you carried that. You carried that. <laughs> I, 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 well, thank you, thank you, thank you. But I couldn't carry anything if I didn't have my fake roommate by my side. <laughs> oh, nice. That, that, was, yeah, that was very cute. Uh, <laughs> um, so you're a fan of platformers, and I take it as well. Do you like playing those often? More so puzzle games than, uh, okay, than okay. platformers. Yes. Um, yeah, I've never, I've never actually beaten... That's a lie. I've beaten one Mario game... Mm -hmm. ever and that was new super mario brothers wii and that oh. was a long long time ago oh yeah well wait 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 wait. that was released back that's when the koopalings made their great big return for the consoles the home consoles I, that was that's back, right that's right yes that was back in 2009 i believe wasn't it is that what it was? Oh. That, that, <laughs> that makes me feel so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I uh, I think I got you beat on the age department. I swear I do. I, <laughs> uh, but you, know, I don't know actually. Maybe I don't. Well, anyway, that's that's not important to bring up. But that that would be funny for us to talk about behind the scenes. <laughs> hmm. uh, unless of course you don't mind. But then I I think it's something we don't need to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, age can be a touchy subject, especially for the young and old, and the and, and those in between. So essentially, everybody. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't like being old. <laughs> no, it just means death coming closer to us, and who knows if it really is Calliope. You know, we'll never know yeah, until maybe that we can day. meet Mori. Yeah, maybe that that's that's one thing to look forward to. Um, let me see here, Pokemon uh, and Mario. So, um, so you beat that final boss. That Bowser boss is pretty tough without that, you know, the the, the propeller hat thing where he's a giant and everything. Oh, oh yeah. I spent a really, really long time <laughs> on the last level. I think I even got like game over or two just at the end. <laughs> no, I that sounds yeah. familiar. That was that that was pretty fun though. I must admit for myself, I I kind of like a challenge every now and then. So hmm. yeah, I, I played like all the Mario games. Uh, the, the, on the consoles, all of them. on the consoles, yeah, I played Super Mario Brothers. Consoles. Consoles. Yeah, yeah, the classic. Um, I my very first game was Super Mario Brothers three. Um, oh, my, nice. Yes, believe it or not, my mother taught me how to play the game because she loved playing it. Really? Yes. Really? Yes, That's absolutely. Cool. Yes. She taught me how to play games, my brother and I. Um, actually, I taught my brother. He's the younger brother. Uh, so I taught him the B, and she taught me. And she also taught us how to play poker, five-card draw. Oh, nice. Yes. Maybe not a game that I would teach my kids. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> Yep. As far as she was concerned, my kids have to know how to play poker, and it's very fun. I'm very glad she taught us it. It was very, it's a fun pastime. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. My my parents don't really play any games. No. Really, just uh, really just me. Yeah. Well, no, that that's that doesn't matter. I mean, they have their own likes, and you have yours. So what? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We're all allowed to like and dislike what we want. It's the right of being an individual. Mm hmm. Now I've left home and I can do more or less whatever I want. <laughs> more or less. 
That's how you get it. There you have it. Um, let me think. Um, this is about games and whatnot. What, what is the most difficult Pokemon battle you've ever had? Oh, most difficult Pokemon battle I've Ooh. ever had. Oh, that would definitely be in the newest games, Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield. Because, yeah, because... So, okay, so the first time I played Sword and Shield, I I wanted to have at least one of every Pokemon just, like, kind of saved in my yeah, box. Yeah. So I'd have, like, a, like, a... We call it a living dex. So we'd have, like, every single Pokemon in the PC, basically. So I needed to play through the game uh, twice to get basically some of the legendaries again, based, based more or less is what that was about. So I played the game twice. Um, and during the second game, sorry, the second uh, run through, I used some Pokemon that let's just say aren't exactly like <laughs> strong. <laughs> so during one of the final fights in the game against a rival, I was getting like one one hit like one shot by by one of his pokemon every single time oh no <laughs> so, I, so I, yeah so i basically needed to um just keep healing and reviving until he just ran out of pp and then oh, and then i could you, then, you, then i could win. <laughs> you weigh it out his pp uh, i i had to <laughs> i had to i didn't i didn't want to lose so you I, had that uh, many items Oh yeah, I I when I when I tend to play Pokemon, I tend to Stock have up. like a huge like excess of every healing item. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, uh, you know what? I don't really want to like lose, so I'll just <laughs> suffer and win. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember which Pokemon that was that the uh, rival had that was giving you particularly the hardest time? Oh yeah, it was the it was, it was his um uh what was the name Zacian. Zacian. Ooh, I never. I, I. I'm still getting acquainted with the Sword and Shield Pokemon, so I don't know that. Was that a legendary Pokemon? Is that just one of them tough ones? You yes. Know, like that's one of the. That's one of the cover legendaries. Actually. Oh, oh, Zacian. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, there you go. The uh, one of those two. The mascots of Sword and Shield, right? Yeah, the Pokemon yes. mascots, as it were. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh wow, <laughs> the most recent one was a hard one. Woo. I, I remember watching some one of your streams. You bring me up that you're more of the uh, attacking as opposed to like stats decreasing player. I can relate. Yeah. Exactly. I like to just. You know, the best offense is a good offense. Yes. <laughs> I, messed up, I messed that one up. should be the best defense is a, is a good offense, you know? I don't know if it counts as a mess up. It's just the style, man. It's just the style. Yeah. Oh, and so here's a funny thing when it came to aggression uh, instead of in terms of Pokemon games. Uh, hmm. my, my brother and I, we had Leaf Green and Fire Red, as, as I mentioned in the chat of your chat one time. And hmm. um, you know how you just want to have – an infinite stock of all those moves to teach your Pokemon, like Sludge Bombs are a nice one to teach, or um, Aerial Ace. That's right. Yes. Right? Yes, yes. I know my Pokemon, too, a little bit. So, But it's like you can only have so many, and some you can only get once. So, mm. And we were uncomfortable with um, messing with our games by inputting like cheat codes. So what we, sure. what we did was we bought duplicates and put the codes in there. And then what we did was uh, we had Pokemon in the other game, Hold on to the items because Pokemon can hold items, and then we would trade right. them over to our, to our, to our, to our, to our actual games. So we called it our smuggling operation. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's how we decided to bypass the cheat code system and say we had legitimate Pokemon attacks from an illegitimate system. <laughs> nice, nice. Smuggling under the young age, I see. Yes, yes. Well, we we have a very interesting childhood. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> smuggling, poker, Mario playing with our mother. Good stuff, good stuff. Sounds like good fun. Yeah. Definitely. Um, do you have a particular like brand of telescope that's like your favorite or you just like have like one that you've grown up with? Um Uh, I got Celeste so long ago that I don't even remember I don't even remember what there brand she is. she is. Um But really, any sort of Telescope will work perfectly fine for watching the stars. True. Celeste true. is a yeah. Celeste is a what's the word? A refractory telescope. Refractory. I'm not too sure how the I'm not too sure how the the whole mechanism works, but there's a there's a couple of different kinds of uh, telescopes. But Celeste here is a, a refractory telescope. Yep. But then of course you have those like ancient telescopes, which are just like just the 
kind of tube, and then they got like lenses on each side. So oh. you got some of the old fashioned ones as well, but Celestia is a bit more modern, of course. More modern, more advanced, that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, and for those of you who don't know, if this is okay, uh, Seth here um, just went in it, kind of like myself here, without any uh, following or whatnot. Uh, that's uh, that's cool with me sharing that information, stuff that you just, I just like to uh, promote that you are just not worried about what happens and whatnot, and you just went for it. That's very brave. Mm, oh, thank you. Thank you. You too. I mean, you just kind of went for it as well. I just <laughs> wanted to, you know, meet everyone. Yeah, and not, you know, not wait or build up, just go for it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Let's see here. What else do we have in store for you? Because I, I am not... You know what? I'm going to try and go into another room. See if I can remember that question I had. Give me a second. Try and entertain... Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, you don't have to, but please, my guest, entertain the audience if you may. Let's talk to... Let's talk to chat. I'm the Lostian. I didn't see anything until now, but I recognize I recognize you from my streams. It's good to see you here as well. I see you used to have a Celestron model. Very nice, very nice. I'm sure you can see the stars very well with that. I'd like to get a telescope where hopefully I can use like a like a camera to maybe take a picture through the lens, but it can be a bit tricky sometimes. A bit finicky. I'm back, and it worked. Welcome back. It worked. <laughs> yes, I remember my question. I want to know if there is yes. any particular like game in your life that you've heard of and been, and were very interested in playing, but have never gotten around to. Never gotten around to. Okay. Okay. Um. Maybe. The Portal series. I've Portal. never played the Portal games. Oh, those are, really those like are fun. Portal games. Those, you, you mean the um, uh, the Valve ones, right? Uh, GLaDOS yes. and yes, yes. Those are very yes. fun. <laughs> My brother and I played the co-op on uh, Portal 2. Oh, nice, nice. Those, those are enjoyable and they're pretty fast. So if you do a gameplay of that, a game a stream of that, uh, that'd be very cool. You might enjoy those. Yeah, for sure. That's something to keep in mind. I've always wanted to try playing the... Uh, Portal games. I don't know if I'm smart enough to figure out all the puzzles, but <laughs> oh, you know, that's, a, that's kind of the point of a puzzle game, right? Just to just, yeah. just, uh, puzzle through it. Yeah. Yeah, come on, though, man. Come on. Give yourself some credit here. I mean, it's the fact that you, <laughs> the, the very fact that you like puzzle games suggests you have more active brain uh, activity. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like to play, um, I don't know, I've, I've brought it up before, but I like to play some of the maybe more bland puzzle games kind of quote-unquote games. I like Minesweeper, I like Picross, I like binary puzzles. <laughs> just kind of like the just kind of like the stuff you'd find in like newspapers and stuff, I guess. Oh, okay. You know what? A puzzle's a puzzle, okay? That's all I have to say. Yeah. Yeah. Works the brain. Keeps yeah. Keeps me feeling young. There you go. That's the spirit. <laughs> like Brain Age. I've actually never played Brain Age though. Funny really, enough. I've I I played Brain Age before. I, yeah? I have. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. How, how was that? It looked pretty fun, actually. Was there any particular? It's it's interesting, but it's it's kind of mm, how do I put this? It's a bit weird how they gauge your age based on like how fast you can answer stuff. So hmm. like. So, like, even when I was a kid, and maybe, like, I wasn't that great at math, it would say that I'm, like, 40 years old because I'm just taking too long to answer the questions. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, that, 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 that is kind of weird. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, let's see here. No, that, that was the main question I really wanted to ask you. If you don't mind, we can move over to the singing performance corner.